from the beautiful Florida Keys. We are down here with Clay from Life by the Bow. We are on his boat today and we're getting ready to go do some lobsters. We also have Adam from Moving Weight Fish in here, as well as his beautiful girlfriend back there, Vic and Dennis. So we're about to head out, hopefully to catch some lobsters. So wish us luck, we will see you out there. Well, it is the first week of March and lobster season goes until March 31st. So there is only a few weeks left of lobster season. So hopefully we can find some today. I go down to the Keys a lot to go fishing, but I have not been down here to lobster in a long time. And it is just the most beautiful thing to see this crystal clear blue water. It's like you're in the Bahamas when you're in the Keys. It's a very, very special place to be. It's absolute paradise. It's like you're in a different country. It's two hours away from where we live, but it is like a whole new world. I'll go catch you a lobster, little bee. Is it cold? It actually is cold. It is cold? Let's choose the move right now, bro. Oh it's no. Nippy. No, it'll be fine once you start moving around. It's not terrible. You already know I had to bring my lobster nets down here. Adam has never used these before. Clay's never used these before. So I brought Clay some to keep so he can have them down here. But I got everybody a net. That's all we use around here. And then I got my tickle sticks as well. If you guys don't know, I hand make these. Um, so yeah, we're ready to go. This is all you need to catch lobsters. Some dive gear, your net, and your tickle stick. All right guys, we're about to jump in. And if you guys watched my last video, which is a tuna video, you saw that I was really, really sick. And Victor and I actually wanted to go diving yesterday. And I felt like I still had like that pressure in my head where if you guys have ever tried diving when you're sick, you cannot equalize. So I am praying that I'm going to be able to dive today. Oh boy. It does feel, it does feel cold. Here we go. It's all in your head, it's all in your head. Woo that first jump in is a little bit of a shock. All right guys, here we go. First dive of the day, the most uh, important one to see if I'll be able to dive. There are so many baby hogfish together. That was like four or five in the same clip right there. I've never seen that many in one spot. I just saw two little lobster, but what's neat about this area back home, we don't have these grass wedges that you see here. I've always loved that about the Keys is you get these little grass wedges along the sand and lobster like to hide in them. But this spot we've been seeing a lot more, but they're all small. Every single lobster we've seen has been small, but so beautiful. So many fish, angelfish, grunts, hogs, grouper, all sorts of stuff.
hunting by himself. He got the first keeper of the day. It's a uh, March and it's it's a little bit chilly in the water, so we're all kind of being babies out here. If there had been more, I would have gone in there with them, but just one lobster. I was like, ah, stay in the boat for a little bit. <laughs> Victor just said he sees six, so that's good for me. I'm jumping in. The ones over here look a little bit small, Vic. There might be one that's a keeper. Listen here. Listen you here. You asked me to find the lobster, you didn't say which size. I want only big ones. <laughs> What do you think, bro? Should I let Annika tickle it and grab him, or who do who? It's up to you. You're the content creator. I think you should use the net. Yeah, use the net. I'll tickle him out, and all you do is put the net right over. Look, like the water is like a floor, so like it's on the bottom, and then so like it's on top of it, and you have to grab it in the net. Though. Yeah, don't just turn the net around. Once it's in the net, then grab him in the net and come to the surface, and just wait till you get a good breath. Not him without you even tickling him. We were about to hop in the boat in other spots, but I just found one under this rock. I think it's legal. It's definitely going to need to be tickled out, though. I'll tickle him out for you. Where is he? Thank <laughs> you. 
There you right go. My, <laughs> nice. Right into my hand. So that's a nice one. There we go, number four. We're strapping. Make it happen. That's the biggest one of the day, I think. Yeah, that thing was hiding. Make sure you get him in the boat, though. That's a good one. Brookie, you spotted that one? Yeah. Adam was going to tickle it out to me, and I literally went out of the rock right into his hand. <laughs> nice. Look at this guy compared to the rest of them. Here we go. So we have just been jumping in the boat, bouncing around from spot to spot, just checking it out. I know down by where we live, this time of the year is really, really hit or miss with catching the lobsters. And it feels like that's what today's like. We really gotta try to find those bigger lobsters because we have found a lot of small ones, but not a lot of big ones. So while we are moving to the next spot, it is the perfect opportunity to replenish some of our electrolytes. And that is where today's video sponsor comes in, which is Element. Element is an electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing that you don't. Element can help prevent and eliminate headaches, muscle cramps, fatigue, and other common symptoms of electrolyte deficiency without all the added junk. That means no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, and no fillers like you might find in other sports drinks. Not only have I implemented Element into my life for the last two years and have absolutely loved it, but so has my whole family. So whether I'm out on the boat all day fishing, diving, surfing, or just doing yard work, I can always count on Element to help me feel my best. They come in these extremely convenient packs, so whether you are going on the boat, throwing it in your purse, your tackle box, whatever you want, you can bring them with you everywhere you go. I'm gonna mix up a grapefruit one right now, and I usually like to mix it into about 16 ounces of water. The less water you use, the more salty it'll be. The more water you use, the less salty it'll be. And if you guys are interested in trying out Element, right now they're offering you a free sample pack with any purchase. This is a great way to try all eight of their delicious flavors. If you guys are interested, you can either go to drinkelement.com slash brookchrist or check the link in the video description. Now let's go catch some more lobsters. Adam, you're about to let a legal lobster go? What Look is up man. with that? He he scrap to... Adam just caught another one. There Your we go. Lobster measuring skills are scrappy. More than likely wasn't legal during mini season, but... Sure. That's the best part about diving here later on in March before the season closes. Sometimes you can catch a lot of these smaller ones that, that have grown time. into their newer shells and molted. So Where's come out here and get them late season when everybody else is too nervous to get in the water from it being a little cold. But we got the dream team right here making it happen. Yeah. Clay spotting every single antenna from the tower right there. <laughs> so there we go, we got number three going in the ice. Got another one. He was in a pretty small rock, so I was able to just grab him. But well, that's a good size. Yeah. I think that's number five. Yep. Can I just toss him in? Toss him in. You guys ever just like look at a lobster and how weird they are? There's, so There's some weird. freaky looking animals. They're actually hairy too. If you look at their legs, they got hair all along their legs. And a so crazy weird. mouth. If you get bit by one of those things, Oh no, it's crazy! It's literally like swimming through jello. <laughs> I've never seen that many moon jellies. I don't know if you guys can see this on the GoPro, but there are so many jellyfish. They're not really the ones that sting you, but I do feel like I just got sting on the face. Um, but there are so many jellyfish here. I feel like they 
might be called moon jellyfish, I'm not 100% sure. But it's funny, when I was growing up, me and my brothers always used to call them watermelon um, jellyfish because they kind of have the shape of a watermelon. <laughs> but that is definitely not the scientific term. So if you guys know what they are, comment down below or maybe I'll look it up and figure out what they are. Legal ones in there, I believe, and definitely a couple shorts. But we're just gonna go down there with the GoPro and scope it out. There's definitely a lot, but I'll be honest, they all look like babies to me. <laughs> They all look like babies to me. Are they all tiny fish? No. They're all short? They're all small. They're all small? They all look small. So what's so cool is we were just running around here on the tower and I was looking down and basically what we just found is a piece of the coral restoration project down here in the Keys. See the problem is, is down here in South Florida our waters are warming. We also have a lot of other water quality issues down here. So what we're actually doing is we're growing corals out here in the wild that are hopefully going to be more resilient than some of the natural corals down here. And then what the Coral Restoration Project then does is they take these corals that are growing here in this little plant, they'll relocate them, replant them here on the coral reef. And as of right now, some efforts have been successful, but you know, it's kind of sad that some of our corals are dying off, but thank God there's really gracious people out there that come out here and donate their time and their efforts towards restoring our corals. And hopefully one day we can have a ton of healthy corals back down here in the Keys again. You know that scene in Finding Nemo where there's like all the bombs? Yes. Floating <laughs> in like the middle of the water column? Like that's what it was like. <laughs> Definitely one leak going in there. There's a couple small ones in there, sharks, but there's one big one. I'm gonna take them out for you. Okay. There's definitely a couple keep. Holy moly. There's a bazillion under there. There's a lot in there. I tried to net the biggest one, but I can tell he's not gonna be legal. Here you go, Brooke. There we go. 
There's a bunch of, there's a, there's a couple keepers in here. There's a keeper. There's a, so many under that rock. Really? Yeah, go look. There's a lot of good fish here. It's pretty. Brooke, there's a couple more. I know there's a couple more keepers in there. They're just so far back. There's a huge more eel under there. Yeah. yeah. Huge more eel. So be careful. I wanted to hear, Clay. Big more eel under that rock. What? That one's a keeper I measured that. Also, did you see that huge puffer fish? Oh. There's I a there huge. There's also a nurse shark under this. There's a huge puffer fish and a huge more eel. Hold up them lobsters. Woo! Yeah, boys. Check out this little island that we're on. We just took our thumbnail. This thing is literally in the middle of the ocean. It's so cool. Pretty sick. We are gonna have an epic catch and cook back at La Costa tonight. What do you think, Brooke? It's gonna be a good night. I'm ready. Let's do it. We'll see you guys back at the house. How cool is that little island? Just popped up in the middle of nowhere. Clay said that two currents kind of meet up at this spot and they just pushed the sand up onto this island. Well guys, we ended up with seven keeper lobsters. We could have caught hundreds of small lobsters today. There was a ton of babies, but we did get seven keepers. Um, how was your dive today, everybody? Super good. I'm glad we ended up with a few. It wasn't looking very, very good in the beginning. Adam? Good fun day in the Keys here with Clay and caught a couple lobsters for dinner. Nice, easy, chill day. Saw a lot of fish. Hogfish, muttons, mangroves, puffer fish, more eels. Got to witness a more eel eating a lobster. Yeah, it was a nice day, so we're stoked to go back to the house, have a really good dinner, and enjoy our night. I think that's all we got for you right now. I'm always happy to be in the Keys. It was nice to finally get together with Clay, do a dive video. And the thing that I like the most is it's crystal clear here pretty much year round. Beautiful, pretty reef. Beautiful wife on the boat, so I'm happy we got lobster for dinner. And a huge thank you to this guy up here who's been driving from the tower all day, Clay. Make sure you guys check out his channel. It's called Life by the Bow. He lives down here in the Keys and he creates some absolutely epic content. So thank you for taking us out today. Thanks for the shout out. We had a ton of fun, so make sure you guys check him out. And then also Adam's channel is Moving Weight. I'll have both of those channels linked down below. Adam's gonna make a couple videos while he's down here in the Keys. So make sure you check those out as well. And you guys know I have to do a shameless plug for myself. Make sure you guys check out my nets and tickle sticks at floridalobsternets.com. We tickled all the lobsters out with the tickle stick. Tried to net them all, but a lot of them just shot into our hands today. It always is a fun time catching lobsters in the Keys, but if you're interested, floridalobsternets.com or I will have a link in the description. <laughs>
right guys, so we are back at the house where we are staying and it is time to clean up our lobsters. If you guys have seen my lobster videos before, you've seen me clean them, but I'm gonna show you anyways. Grab your lobster, one hand on the head, one hand on the tail. I always like to do this with gloves. And look at that beautiful lobster meat. You're gonna take the tip of the antenna, break that off. And now you're gonna use this to get out the digestive tract out of the lobster tail. The antennas have backwards facing spines so they grab out that digestive tract. And there you go. You got a beautiful lobster tail ready for the kitchen. All right guys, so we are in the kitchen and tonight we are doing surf and turf. We're going to be cooking up our lobsters as well as these massive steaks. Look at these. Check these things out. Dinosaur bones. Put your right hand there, Vic, so they can actually like see. That's Very a good. three inch thick steak right there. That's crazy. And Adam's over here prepping the lobsters. We got our lobster tails. Just get a pair of scissors or shears here. And just like that. And then I'm gonna actually get my fingers in and open it up just like that. And that one's got some color to them. Just like that. And that's how our lobsters are gonna sit. So we're going simple with these lobsters, you guys. They don't require a lot. They taste really good on their own. We're gonna do a little bit of black pepper to start. Then we're gonna take a little bit of garlic powder, because who doesn't like garlic? Especially if you're Italian. But like I said, we're going light on the seasoning, nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. And you gotta have yourself a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. A couple cracks on each lobster. So we're going nice and simple tonight. We just were on the boat all day long and we're hungry and we're ready to eat. So we're just going nice and simple and we're just gonna grill some steak and lobster. All right, the steaks are gonna go on the grill first because they're gigantic. Look at those beautiful ribeyes. Who doesn't like themselves a ribeye? Flip it, and we're gonna add a little bit of garlic butter. Alrighty, guys. Look at that, bro. This is a pretty impressive spread, if you ask me. We got the dinner rolls perfectly cooked lobster tails on the grill. And look at that steak. Nice little medium action. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for a beautiful and safe day on the water. We are very blessed to be here with good friends and healthy friends and good people and a good meal in front of us. Please bless the hands that made this food and nourish our bodies. In your name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. amen. Thank you, Adam. Well, we had an incredible day of diving in the beautiful Florida Keys and enjoyed a wonderful meal together. You really can't beat fresh lobster. Another thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. Again, if you're interested in trying out Element, head to drinkelement.com slash brookchrist or click the link in the video description to get your free sample pack with any purchase. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.